People are getting excited for sturgeon spearing, but the up and down temperatures have been messing with ice conditions. Local 5's Danielle Zukowski has the latest before the ice cutting starts tomorrow. I always say the ice isn't 100% safe. But with that in mind, Don Herman, a local ice expert, is optimistic about ice conditions going into this sturgeon spearing season. This year is probably a pretty good year from the last couple of years. We have about a 17 to 20 inch base on, on ice. And once you get over the bridges, you can drive just about anywhere. Herman has been pulling sunk cars out of cracked ice since 1980. Now we do about 20, 25 a year and we built all our own equipment. Herman says he's already been called to pull one vehicle out of the ice and is expecting more calls as the season progresses. Normally we have good ice like this and you, you can drive everywhere. I have a very busy year. People think that I have a good year when we have bad ice, but nobody goes out there. The temperature is also affecting water clarity. Experts say without the snow to block the sun, algae started blooming under the ice, making it harder to see. Water clarity is right around 10.7 feet on average on Lake Winnebago, and harvest is really dependent on that water clarity. If you can see further down the hole, you have a better chance of spearing a sturgeon. Experts say the most important thing to do whenever you're on the ice is be aware of your surroundings. In Oshkosh, Danielle Zolkowski. Local 5 News. Thanks, Danielle. The spearing season starts on Saturday. It'll run 16 days or until the harvest capacity is met. And with the current water clarity conditions right now, the experts are expecting a longer season.